This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. A two-year-old is recovering from a gunshot wound while Miami-Dade police work to find out who shot him. It happened in a neighborhood near Ivesbury Road in I-95 last night. Initially, police were told the child was shot in a drive-by, but later learned the child was actually shot inside a home. The two-year-old is expected to be okay. He is currently at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital in Hollywood. A Broward County school bus driver is being called a hero. She is credited with quickly getting students off her bus and out of harm's way. The bus caught fire on the 8400 block of 61st Street in Tamarack yesterday. She was transporting children from Nova Blanche Elementary School in Davie. You get them off. The yes, yeah, the bus driver did a good job to get those kids, to get them off. No one was hurt. Another bus picked up the students and took them home. It was a wild scene at Trump Doral Resort after five men spent thousands of dollars using a stolen credit card. Police were called out to the hotel after realizing it was fraud. When officers tried to confront them, they ran out of the balcony and jumped off. Two of them were caught, but police say three others did get away. They racked up a $2,000 bill. Now, CBS4 weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Happy Friday, first day of February. As we kick off the weekend, we are seeing plenty of clouds from our wind jammer resort camera. 72 for Lauderdale, 68 in Miami, 70 in Key West. It has been soggy for Broward County for much of the morning. The roads drenched in spots, could see some ponding and still dealing with some showers around Lighthouse Point, Pompano Beach, Margate and Oakland Park. The breeze right now variable, but three to 10 miles an hour. As we head throughout the day, though, everyone needing to keep the umbrella close as we'll see the potential for passing showers and highs right around 79. So the warming trend continues with some peaks of sun at times. Tonight, lows will be in the upper 60s, mild and cloudy with spotty showers. And for Super Bowl Sunday, if you're planning on gathering with family and friends to watch it right here only on CBS 4, if you start those festivities early on around noontime, maybe getting the grill ready, 78 degrees, a spotty shower, the rain chance just 20%. So it looks like we'll be in for warmer sunshine higher on 80 into 3 p.m. kickoff time 630 and we'll be nice and mild with the upper 70s and as we take a look at the weekend tomorrow for Groundhog Day Saturday the chance for some spotty showers a few downpours into Sunday waking up to lows in the upper 60s a high right around 80 and then we'll continue with highs right around 80 through next week Maribel. That's it thanks and that's the news for now you can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7 and 11 for all of today's important headlines.